All right, well, we're back at the land of the alphas. Obviously, this is not the normal gym, but I just think the way that September's working out, I'm only gonna be at my normal gym, which is just 24 hour fitness, like maybe for a week or something before it's time to go do this competition. But I kind of like that because just being in the same area over and over and doing the same thing over and over kind of gets a little bit mentally depressing. Not, I mean, not depressing, but just it's like kind of boring, especially when you're already not feeling the greatest just from doing this anyways. And speaking of which, by the way, last night was probably the first time this whole diet that I actually felt pretty hungry going to sleep. Because I think everybody has a different tolerance level of when they feel, start to feel hungry. And I'm pretty good about that, like, where in my head, it's like other people would probably already be very hungry, but I'm like, I'm, I'm good, or it's okay. But last night I was definitely like, I'm down for another meal, but nope, food's done. I woke up this morning and I was like, I am pretty damn hungry. But I just had a protein shake and now I'm at the gym, so. Yeah, you brought the camera and everything. The dong, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> David, working out legs, eh? What are you repping this for? Six to eight. Jesus. David told me, I asked him earlier what he's gonna do for legs and he said, back squat, front squat, okay, split squat. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I freaking handle it. Also, take a look at this. Asian brethren, check out these arms. Holy guacamole. Working out legs or arms? That's right. Dude, freaking crazy. <laughs> but, uh, wait, we're like the same height. I think. So, yeah, we're like the, uh, wait, stand up, first one. We're like the same height. Yeah, well, maybe I'm slightly, like barely. Just barely. Yeah, barely, barely. But what do you weigh though? 154. 154, yeah, see, because I'm barely taller than him, but yet he weighs slightly less, which goes to show your year round leanness. <laughs> Basically, what used to be, I saw, I've been at like a 500 to 700 deficit for about three months or so and now in this last week and a half or two I increased it to 800 to a thousand calorie deficit a day uh, granted that's also being created by cardio but I'm trying to get actually very conditioned so it's a necessary evil because I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna beat anybody by being biggest so that's the plan anyways we're doing chest I think I'm just gonna record this attempt at uh, the hundos because the hund like I did 105 as my at my peak, but that was never too easy. So right now I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to attempt to hold on to the hundo poundage mark uh, for the rest of prep. That would be pretty that would be a pretty good indication of maintaining the muscle. So I'll record that once I get there. The hundos almost crushed me. I did not feel what the heck. Yeah, so that was very hard. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to, because the thing is I don't wanna keep doing it if it's just a matter of like, just ego. Like I wanna be able to keep pushing this weight because one, I might, I may or may not be even feeling the exercise towards the end, especially like the last reps when I'm just trying to complete the rep as opposed to work the muscle. So I did this at 90 after that but I might have to drop. Well, I'll try to keep it up as long as possible. Granted also, like, I have not been sleeping well this week. Last night was pretty decent, but still not great. So, I will attempt to keep it up. This right here is a interesting machine. I kind of like it, but it also feels very difficult. And for some reason, the first set that I did, my right tricep was feeling, my right tricep elbow was feeling a lot of tension. On the second set, it was okay though. But yeah, I think we've got like two more chest exercises, then some shoulders, then some biceps. It's gonna be a day. Okay. All right, this one went surprisingly well. I have it recorded in my e-log book, I, the rep count app. That last time when I was doing this exercise, which is basically always a like an after the main movement. Maybe sometimes I'll do it as a main if I'm like just feeling wrecked on the day. 
that I did the 90 for a set of eight as my top set. And just now I did like a set of nine or 10. And it was pretty damn clean. So I'm probably just gonna re repeat the exact same weight since that wasn't too bad. It was good technique. I can feel it, not sloppy, so that's actually pretty surprising. How come you never like show like flex or anything? Me? Yeah, like on Instagram or anything. How you know, like, never show any of that? I never flex. I don't know. Take a, oh my! I was telling David though that like uh, I when I look at myself like legit, I look at myself and I'm like I'm small, and I'm like oh, yeah I'm getting smaller because I'm losing weight. But you, I mean, I, I just told him, like, this is kind of BS because in the mirror I look freaking massive, but then you were saying that I actually look bigger. You actually look bigger. Yeah. Which is like, see, that's, that's news to me. Because when I see myself, I'm like, I don't look bigger. I feel like I need me. You're too hard on yourself. You're too uh, modest. Hmm. Yeah, too maybe. Humble. So. Stay humble. <laughs> Stay humble. Humble king. <laughs> okay. See, that makes it a lot flatter than last time. Yeah. It? Yeah. So now we've come to the point of pure narcissism. Just kidding, but not really a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, at the end of Alpha Land, because you pay forty dollars for a day pass, was like, all right, might as well make use of the natural lighting and the mirrors outdoors. See what we're looking like on the parts that we train. Kind of also connect to the muscle after we just worked out those muscles. And you know, it's really true when I see myself. When I look at myself directly, a lot of the times, like I look down or something like that at myself, I think I don't look very big and it, that it frightens me. You know, it actually makes me a little afraid for the competition because, you know, when you look on social media and stuff, you see other people, they look effing massive and I'm like, damn, I'm not going to be anywhere near as big as them. But then sometimes I think I look good. So it's the whole thing is just really a mind, a giant mind. Action. Action. We're at Haraz Coffee House now in Sugarland, the best coffee house. Well, we've only been here once and it was my favorite, so. <laughs> Look what they did to your drink, man. We uh, couldn't control themselves. <laughs> but, anyways, I'm uh, being a good little bodybuilder. I actually brought my food. Yes, I brought my food. I have right here <laughs> the holy, the holy. Yeah, that looks nice. No, but don't, just trust me, it's gonna get good. It's gonna get good. This looks boring as hell. It's pretty gross. Sure, you don't want this? Yeah, I know. Show them your food. <laughs> I'm, seeing, I'm seeing the D Wong's food, and I'm like, oh, that looks good. But, but look, this is gonna get good too. Watch. Also, like, I had just made this before I left. And so, and it was just sitting in the car while we we're at the gym, right? Which is basically hot holding. Like, it's hot as hell in there. Anyways, look, I've got the. Uh, I've got the condiments. Ooh. Ooh. Some homemade sauce. What kind of sauce is it? It's like this salsa kind of stuff, but it's uh, it's very delicious. Locale? Okay. Yeah, it's like there's because it's just made out of vegetables. And the only vegetable really is tomato or fruit, yeah. tomato. Yeah. So it's not much. Here, you should taste it. Here. Give it get a taste. Do you want to lick it? However you want, sure. Mmm. Right? Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. It's you a know, little kick to it. You yeah. know me. You know. And we're not done yet. But I have all these containers because of my pop-ups. <laughs> <laughs> and then, to make it even better. Oh, look at that. We are prepared. This? This is turning Mexican over here. No, 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 it's not Mexican. Smell it, smell it. What'd you put in there? So it's like, uh, oh, it's kind of, it's kind of like coagulating because of ice. It's uh, onions, tomatoes, uh, olive oil, lemon juice, and uh, this, this is my, this is my added fats, by the way. It's not just olive oil for olive oil. It's, and then uh, mint. Oh, mint. So this was actually, this would actually be very good on your food. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so this is my lunch. I'm actually very excited. I'm hungry as hell. Don't knock over my sanani. <laughs> okay, here you go. You can do it on this and I'll do it on my phone. All right, Tiku Cafe, we are back at, well, hold on, we're not Tiku Cafe right now. <laughs> we are back at Haraz Coffee House in Sugarland. And instead of getting the iced Adani, uh, Denny, we gotta try something new. We got the iced 
Sanani, which normally doesn't come with cream, but we added cream. Let's see what this tastes like. I'm excited. This is a coffee-based oat instead of a tea bit. Give it a nice stir. All right. Let's see. Different with the coffee and little tea. <laughs> Whoa, interesting. All right, it's like uh. Um, yeah, describe it. What is it? It's uh, because you know the tea is like more like floral, right? Yeah. This is like more ro definitely more robust. You know what I mean? Like it's like it hits it hits more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's like uh, I mean it's obviously more astringent, but yeah, like. Is it too sweet? No, it's not too sweet at all, which is like amazing. Like that's the amazing part. You get normal sweetness and it's not too sweet at all. But um, I should have put that in the thing. But it's interesting because it's like it has the same like spice. Because they, they even said it has the same like spice blend kind of thing. Yeah. That they put in the iced Denny, but like the fact that this, this is, I think this is a Yemeni coffee. So can you taste the coffee too? She said that if you're gonna get the iced, because they only do certain ones iced. That if, it, if I didn't want the adeni, the adeni is the tea one, iced tea version. Uh, and normally it would be the uh, iced Harazi coffee. Yeah. But they ran out of the Harazi yeah. coffee. Places Haraz coffee house. Anyways, so she was like, we can do the iced Sanani. And that one doesn't come with cream, but we can add it for you. And I was like, okay. So it's interesting because it's like, like I didn't, I, I, I was thinking about it and I was like, What's it gonna taste like just adding coffee instead of tea, you know? Like that might not be good. But, like it's like completely changed the drink. This is like very interesting, but it's way more like boom, whoa, instead of like yeah, it's like it's like a instead of like a nice like lush, you know. So also very good. Also very good. Mm. Wow. That's great. This <laughs> is weird but it was like very dark so I have to, I'm putting this light in my face just so you can actually see but anyways it's currently 9 3 p.m got back from alpha land and all that to the back to where I live which is like and with to without tolls it was like an hour and 20 away so I got back at like what's 8 or 7 30 maybe 8 but it's 9 3 p.m now and I basically ate a little protein bar because I was like I just gotta get some protein and get something in before I go do this cardio. So I'm about to go do cardio. Currently I have burned 2740 on the day, but I didn't do cardio today. So I'm going to go do that now. So I think I'm about, I'm just gonna go like hit like 40 minutes uh, while like making Instagram posts and stuff like that and then just be done with it because I will be very high in calorie expenditure. As you can see, the, the, uh, the leanness is coming in we are exactly about one, two, three, four, five weeks away now. So it is looking good. Like I think for five weeks out, because I don't know, because I've never done this before, I think this look for five weeks out is okay. I don't think I'm in like a you're behind stage, but I don't know. So maybe you can let me know. But I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm not gonna bring the camera there because it's just a hassle. I literally just wanna go in the gym, my phone, my earphones, and my keys, so, and my water.